What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you a tour of this two-story ADU. This is Hector for the homeowners that don't know me. I make videos about ADUs and every now and then a video about real estate. And today I'm going to show you the rough construction of a two-story ADU. For this particular project, the owner of this ADU happened to watch some of my videos. He got in contact with Natalie. Natalie helped the homeowner get the plans approved and right after that, I passed on the number for a contractor to build the ADU, which happens to be Elias. Uh, the homeowner was able to build his ADU using my website, which is, is it's amazing just to think that I made a video for fun and it kind of is turning into people getting plans approved and building projects. So to me, that's just, that's just crazy. I, I never thought it was gonna be something like this. I wanted to know how much it would cost to build a two-story ADU in this market. Like anyone thinking about building an ADU, I called a few companies on Google. For the most part, their prices are over $300,000. The other contractors that I spoke with, their prices were anywhere in between two eighty dollars and $300,000. We have three contractors on my side. I asked them the same question, how much it would be to build a two-story ADU in today's market, and their prices were somewhere in between $200,000 and $240,000. So that's insane that just by talking to a lot of contractors, just like I did when I built my project, you can get different prices from everybody and just narrow down somebody who can build the same product, licensed, bonded with experience for a better price. This homeowner is building his ADU as an owner builder and his price to build his ADU is $160,000. I'm going to explain the boring section of the video, which is the underpinning, followed by a tour of this two-story ADU. The most difficult process about building a two-story ADU is the installation of something that's called underpinning. Now, the underpinning is strengthening and reinforcing an existing foundation of a structure, typically by extending the depth of the foundation. The underpins were installed around the ADU, along with a new footing to hold the weight of the stairs. At every single stage of the construction process, there was an inspection. Just to give you an example, the rebar for the underpins had to be inspected by the structural engineer. And I'm not even talking about the epoxy deputy inspector or the city inspector. I'm going to explain exactly who the structural engineer is and why are they involved in the construction process of a two-story ADU. So basically on any set of plans, you're going to have a designer. The designer is gonna put the plans together, draw the layout, submit plans to the city with all the requirements that the city wants. When you have a two-story ADU or a 20 by 20 garage conversion with an addition or new construction, most likely you will need a structural engineer to draw a set of plans, calling out anything that is not covered by the wood frame prescriptive provisions. On a 20 by 20 garage conversion to ADU, you don't need structural plans. But in case that you do, that's an additional fee. It could be $1,000, it could be $5,000, depends on who you work with. Nonetheless, going back to the construction of this ADU, when the structural engineer had to stop by the property to inspect the rebar, the homeowner had to pay an additional $1,000 to the structural engineer every time he had to stop by and inspect something. To clarify things again, you have your structural engineer. He inspects the rebar and right before the rebar is installed into the existing footing, you need to have the epoxy deputy inspector stop by the property to make sure that the epoxy has been installed properly. That's another fee, another inspection. And on top of that, you're going to have your city inspector. He's going to ask for the certificate by the epoxy deputy inspector. And after all those things are done properly, the city inspector will give you the clearance to pour the concrete. If you need somebody to help you draw the plans for your ADU, get in contact with Natalie. She can help you draw the plans, submit them to the city, and get them approved. The best way to get in contact with Natalie is by going over to the website, sending her an email, and that's it. She will take care of the rest. By doing that, you will be executing step one towards building your ADU. And this is what I'm talking about. Right over here, this is where the new footing 
for the stairs and it goes all the way around where the new framing is those are the plans by Natalie but this is the other section of the footing and I made a video about footings and what it takes to install a new footing so if you guys are interested in that there will be a link down below and for this particular ADU you can see where the new footing was installed and this was a 24 inch footing on the other side right over here this was a new reinforcement done to the ADU and that happened on that section it happened over here over on this side as well and as you can tell right here so they had to retrofit the garage to hold the weight of a two-story ADU we have the shear walls being installed inside the ADU and if you guys haven't seen the shear walls video I'll put a link down below we had Carlos come in and he did a QII which is a quality insulation inspection it was required you don't need a insulation inspection for the city of LA but LA County most likely you do this is where the kitchen is going to go on the far end side let me show you really quick is the hold downs and that has to be installed in any ADU whether it be two-story or single story that basically holds the property down in case of an earthquake and you need to pass the epoxy inspection when the hold downs are being installed this is where the sink is going to go and then on this side we are going to have the stove I'm gonna try to give you guys a a full view of downstairs of this ADU here we go I'm standing on the corner and as you can see it's very spacious the stairs are not on the way it doesn't feel small it feels it feels big it doesn't even feel like it was a two-car garage it feels nice it feels cool since the insulation has been installed let me take you guys upstairs so you guys can see what the second level of this ATU looks like let's go let's take a look before that let me give you a, a tour from the top of the stairs here we go that's going to be where the kitchen is going to go right on that side and let me just give you another view from this side as a realtor I see a lot of properties and walking into this ADU it just it feels like just another property it doesn't feel like it was a garage it feels really good it means that Natalie did a good job with the design this is the top level of this ADU I'm gonna start out on the right and we have here the bathroom this ADU has a tub. If homeowners are building an ADU with a walk-in shower, there's an additional step to follow, which is a hot mop. And that requires another inspection and another company to be involved. So just one more thing for homeowners to know, whether you're installing a tub or a walk-in shower, walk-in shower just basically means more money that needs to be spent. Let's walk into the bedroom. We have a big, nice window, insulation already installed. This is probably maybe nine by nine, but you have to remember the first floor is 20 by 20. And if you're not adding any additional square footage to the garage, converting it to an ADU, the rooms on the upstairs are going to be limited in space and you have to use every inch of space available. For example, on this side, we have your closet. It looks really nice and big. And on the other side, we're also going to have a room and a closet as well. So this is bedroom number two. And as you step inside the room, you're going to see the closet. And it's a nice big closet as well, just like in room number one. And this is room number two. You have a big window and a sliding door with a little section to step outside. So this is room number two of the two-story ADU. All the rough electrical has been passed. So this project is moving along 
very well and I was able to film this project before the drywall is installed because once the drywall is installed you're basically 70 to 80 percent done with your project that's it for this video hopefully you guys learned just a little bit more about the construction process for an ADU and I'll see you guys on the next one